So then in these examples, we start to see already why this notation is useful to us. So say I wanted to divide f by g. I can write that down way more quickly than if I had two values that were both y. Because f and g now have names. They mean specific functions. Um, you do need to know now how to translate this notation and evaluate. So really this means take f of x over g of x. And then it says express the result in standard form. That means simplify, right? So f of x over g of x, well, that would be x squared minus 9x plus 14 over x minus 7. Okay. Now the only trick here is this is factorable, right? So this factors to x minus 7, x minus 2, because this plus this is negative 9, this times this is positive 14, and then x minus 7, my g on the bottom is just chilling. But notice this cancels out now very nicely. So f of x over g of x is just what's left over, is just x minus 2. So this allows us to write down arithmetic option, uh, operations that we know how to do easier. Do note that you need to simplify for all of these problems. So anytime we're doing math, you should combine your like terms. Um, you should factor and cancel like we did here. That's what we mean by simplify. All right, f of x times g of x. Well, that means exactly what it sounds like. So f of x, 7x plus 9, times g of x, negative 5x squared, minus 2x, minus 8. And you just need to multiply these out by hand. And a lot of you guys like to do the box or Punnett square method here, which is a great way to do it. So that would look like this for this one. It would be a 3 by 2 kind of situation because you need to multiply each term by each other term. And whoever made this didn't give us enough room to work with, right? But there we go. So here we get negative 35x to the third. So be careful with your signs and your exponents here. That's where I see people mess up. 7x times negative 2x would be negative 14x squared. And then here we get negative 56x. And then negative 45x squared. Uh, negative 18x. And negative 72. And then notice we have some like terms. So my x squareds go together. And my x to the, my plain old x's go together. So I'm just going to combine those as we go. I'm going to write it in standard form, which means my biggest exponent comes first. Negative 35x to the third. And then negative 59 squared. And then negative 74x minus 72. So that's f of x times g of x. And you knew how to do that math already. Just really we're practicing the notation here.